What's up guys, in this video as you can see I have my iPod Touch 3G running iOS 5 and I'm currently filming from my iPod Touch 4G which is also running iOS 5 and if you saw my iPod or my iPad excuse me in my last video where I did the actual review of iOS 5 you know that that must be running iOS 5 as well um, and in this video I wanted to simply show you how to jailbreak the iOS 5 using Red Snow. Um, before I begin I want to give a shout out to these two guys, Hockey Giants 15 and BMX Kids O oh Fly. Um, both of their links will be in the description, but thanks to those two guys, I was actually able to get all of my devices updated to iOS 5. Um, again, check them out in the description. They're great guys. I really appreciate all that they did for me. Um, because my developer account got a little messed up, but they were the ones who actually helped me update to iOS 5. So go check them out in the description. Now to get to the jailbreak. First what you want to download is Red Snow. The link will, for that will be in the description. Um, this actually only works for Macs as of right now. I will be making another tutorial later today on Snow Breeze which allows you to jailbreak your iOS 5 on Windows. Um, and I want to let you guys in on some uh, insight, insight before you actually jailbreak. Um, again download Red Snow for Mac. The description it will be in the description. As you can see I already downloaded it there and double click it to extract it so you get the folder. Um, once you do that um, before you jailbreak I just want you guys to know this does work on all devices. Um, it works on as you can see on Redmond Pi. It works on the iPod Touch 3G, iPod Touch 4G, iPad 1, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and iPhone 4 for Verizon. However, this does not work on the iPad 2 yet, so do not download this if you were looking for the iPad 2 jailbreak, but it does work on every other device, including the Verizon iPhone. Um, also, iOS 5 is a little buggy right now still, so if you want to jailbreak it, it will be even more buggy. So do not do this if it is your primary device. It will just mess it up and make it twice as buggy. Um, but that is just me. If you really want to, you can go ahead and do it. Finally, this is a tethered jailbreak. Basically what tethered means is you have to actually hook it up to your computer every single time you turn it off and boot with red snow. So essentially you cannot turn it off unless you are near your computer that you jailbroke on um, because it will not turn on otherwise. So this is a little bit of a hassle guys but right now this is the only jailbreak that is available for all of the iOS devices. Um, an untethered jailbreak may be coming later this summer but I'm not sure if it actually is. For now we are going to have to stick to this tethered one. So once you know what device you have um, once you actually download Red Snow and once you know this is tethered, go ahead and hook up your device to your Mac. As you can see here, I have hooked up mine. This is my iPod Touch 3G, which it works on to my computer over there. And I am actually ready to jailbreak. So once you're ready to jailbreak, go ahead and open up the folder that you downloaded. And inside you will have three things. You will have Red Snow, Credits, and Boot Command. Open up Red Snow by double-clicking it. Once you have downloaded the 4.0 firmware for your device from, the, from your developer account, go ahead and click Browse. Then find your, your actual firmware. As you can see here, mine is iPod Touch 3 5.0. Go ahead and click Open. It's going to process the firmware there. Okay, here we are. It's processed actually quicker than I thought. So click next once it's processed. You will see a scrolling bar with all of this information. It's going to say patching kernel, etc. Okay, here basically all you want to do is click install Cydia and click next. Once you do so, it's going to say please make sure your device is off and plugged into your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the device. As you can see, it's turned off um, and it's plugged in. And now it's going to ask you to put your device in DFU mode. Basically, you hold the power button for three seconds, hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds, and then you're going to let go of the power button and keep holding. And your computer, as you can see, I'm holding the home button, will realize it, and then it will start jailbreaking. You will get, as you can see, it says exploiting with lime rain. Uh, you probably will see a waiting for reboot here and your device will reboot as you can see it says downloading jailbreak data and again this is all essential with DFU mode um, if you don't know how to apply DFU mode go ahead and um, Google it but it walks you through it inside of Red Snow 
Um, and once you put your DF, once you put your device in DFE mode, it will start jailbreaking. As you can see, I have I have scrolling text here. The computer says it's done, but the iPod has to do its thing first. And yeah, I will come back when it's actually completely rebooted. Okay, guys, as you can see, it, there's a little animation here that shows you just what's happening. It's moving the applications into place. As you guys can see, it is rebooting. And just while that's rebooting, I want to show you guys what the computer actually says. It says, the rest of the process takes place on your device. Note, the jailbreak for this device is currently tethered. This means in order to use any of the jailbreak programs, you must use the just boot tethered right now option of rent snow every time you reboot the device, even right now, just after you jailbreak. So once this actually boots, I'm going to show you guys what that actually means. Um, and then you'll be on your way with your jailbroken iOS 5 device. Here we go. Slide to unlock, and as you can see, there is Cydia. Basically, what you want to do after you jailbreak is turn off your device. And as that's turning off, what you want to do is go to Red Snow, click Finish, then open Red Snow again. And my device is off, as you can see over there. And basically, what you want to do is find your firmware again, open it, it's going to process again, then click Next let it process and go to just boot tethered right now click next and it says make sure your device is off and plugged in you're gonna want to put it back into DFU mode and once you actually put it into DFU mode and reboot this is what you'll get you'll get the little pineapple logo and it will boot up so I will come back when it is completely booted up so as you can see here guys we're completely booted up I'm gonna go ahead and go to Cydia again and open it up here and now, as you can see, it is working. Um, you can go ahead and click user or whatever you want. There you go. Cydia has loaded, and now you are jailbroken on iOS 5. Enjoy, guys. So just to sum up the actual process, basically you need to download Red Snow, figure out if your device is compatible with the jailbreak, notice that it is a tethered jailbreak, then run through the process once with Red Snow to jailbreak, and then run through the boot boot tethered only right now process and then you will be up and running with a jailbroken device with all the goodness so thanks for watching guys if you like this video and for more videos be sure to subscribe by clicking the little button up there and rate thumbs up it greatly helps me out and be sure to rate thumbs up down there i mean that's where you click there so subscribe up there rate thumbs up down there and down there you can find my twitter links my website my facebook and my other channel go ahead and check all of those out it greatly helps me out and thanks for watching again guys hopefully you liked this video and i will catch you in the next one enjoy your jailbreak Peace out.